The Los Angeles Coliseum, once home to the Olympic Games and many of the most memorable moments in sports, and also home to the USC Trojans, who are prepared to fight on once again today. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on a team from the Big Ten, the USC Trojans. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Trojans will kick it away to start us off. Fielded in the end zone, it's Price. And the returner will be knocked down. So Notre Dame's offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. So much history and pageantry in this rivalry, guys, but the trophy, the jeweled shillelagh, is a little bit under the radar. It is. It's beautiful to look at, but I think people are always just focused on these two blue blood programs. Notre Dame, USC. This is interconference, national championship, and Heisman implications. Seemingly always on the line late in the year when these two teams play. Always so cool. Coast to coast. Something matters. Something on the line. You're right. This game is always fun to watch. The jeweled shillelagh. Now on the counter. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. There have been many memorable games in this rivalry. It was memorable for Notre Dame last year, not so much for SC as the Trojans got blown out. No, and Notre Dame's a team that we've seen in the playoff in, in recent years, and they want to get there consistently. To do that, they've got to win rivalry games like this. You're going to play a big-time opponent like USC with all of that talent and that coaching staff. You're going to have to play at a very high level. Last year, David, they put the stomp down on the Trojans. They did. They used that big shillelagh and laid the hammer and took care of business. And you've seen Notre Dame, you know, have these years now where they've had really good seasons, but we want to see them build on it and do multiple good seasons in a row. That means beating your rival, beating USC consistently. Let's see what the Irish have today. And off from the shotgun. Out across the 30, Mark down at the 35 after the 10-yard gain. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Now he's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Cross-country rivalry between these old foes. It started because Newt Rockney's wife wanted to go to California late in the season, and the next chapter unfolds today. That sounds perfect. If my wife wanted to do it, same thing I would do. Happy wife, happy life. It's always interesting to hear how these rivalry trophies come about, but I know one thing. USC, Notre Dame, every year, Palmer, is appointment television. It is. My brother, Billy, played for Notre Dame, and I'll be honest, I used to get jealous watching him play against the Trojans, whether it was at Coliseum or whether it was at Notre Dame. This is one of the best rivalries in all of college football and one that I wish I could have been a part of. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. On first and 10 from the 38. They think there's room to run to the right here. Aird is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. 
So many memorable and historic moments in this rivalry, guys. It's almost a century old now, first meeting in 1926. When you think of all the great coaches that have raced the sidelines in this rivalry, right? Luke Rockney, Eric Parsegian, John Robinson, Pete Carroll. A lot of national championships between these two schools, David. Lou Holtz, I, we can keep going on. The uniforms are always strong, always consistent. Fan bases are always so great. This is a game you can... And wait just a second. The official's going to take a second look at this one. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. He'll come out throwing on first down. Grabbed behind the line. It's locked. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. This crowd knows when to bring it. Looking for a man. It's Leonard. Quick strike complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll run play action. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. Nice job by the defense getting after the QB. He's trying to scramble around. He's trying to go get that first with his legs, but he's not able to do it because of the speed on defense. This offense has moved into plus territory, and they want to keep the heat on. They'll go for it on fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. You got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. Lining up for the PAT. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They held the ball for 15 plays on that touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Branch. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. The Irish offense comes out. First chance we've had to see them today. A big challenge for both of these quarterbacks, Jesse, is dealing with a ball-hawking free safety on the other side. Well, you're right, Reese. QBs better be good with their eyes. Better not stare down wide receivers in this one, because if you float the ball down the middle of the field, that's getting picked. And these guys are going to be right in the middle of the field, flying all over the field, and quarterbacks will make sure that they are locked in and not throwing the ball near those guys. It's first and 10 from the 31. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. To the air, it's Moss. Snags it over the middle. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. 
And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. A little screen to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch, called for and made. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Steps away. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're throwing it. You're trying to catch the defense napping. You might take a shot. Nothing there. Go get it yourself. Make the right decision to keep it, not panic, and get you a fresh set of downs. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense. Great in the tackle for a loss on first down. Offense gets set for second down. Dropping back, it's Leonard. They're working that left side. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Here come the Irish again, this time doing it through the air. And getting a little balance, right? We talked about how they like to be physical and they like to run the football. But when you get that balance going, man, it makes it easy to call plays, start to settle in, everything looking good on offense. Takes the handoff. It's Love. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Well, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Lost to fire on second down. Catch in the middle, it's Evans. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. These routes have some reads and adaptability built in, and the big fella found that cushion and made the play. Man, it's so awesome how much offenses have evolved. They know exactly what they're getting, where to sit down, quarterback, tight end, on the same page, gets the first down. yard pickup they come to the line second and seven off play action all kinds of room to throw that one in there they're able to keep him out of the end zone he'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game well after that last play you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch if I'm on offense I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game On first and goal, Notre Dame will try to get it in the end zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Notre Dame! 
Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put together an 81-yard drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Wide receiver shows motion. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. He'll keep it himself. And the Trojans get enough for the first down. Such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs. Great open field running ability by this QB. The Trojans come to the line with a new set of downs. Dropping back, it's Moss. Using the quick game. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Not difficult, not complicated, but early in the game, get in that rhythm. Find that timing with your wide receiver so you're set up for success. Then you go attack deep later on. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw, trying to get to him. And the quarterback is snowed under. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play. But up front, they could not protect him well enough. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Complete to the left. He's loose. Inside the 10. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, USC. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front there were physical. Skilled players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. The AT unit on the field. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it done with a big play, a 76-yarder for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. 
didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here come the Irish, back on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's we'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Starting this drive like that is exactly what they had hoped for. Now first and 10 from the 40. To the ground, he's got it again. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road before the Halfway there on first down and second and five. Leaves it with the back. Still on his feet at the 45. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down and they're down to the 42. That offensive line is putting those golden domes on the defense and starting to move the ball on the ground. And we can go back so many years. And the coaches may change, but the brand of Notre Dame is what it is. They're going to be physical. They're going to run the football. That's who they are, and that's how they're built. Complete to the left. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. That big play really has them in business. It's first and 10 from the 11. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Hand off from the gun. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. To the air, it's Leonard coming after him. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism, he's got length, he's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that side. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. And that will extend their lead even further. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, 
Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Weaves his way ahead and gets five out to the 18-yard line. It's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole. He's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You've got to make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense when now they got a manageable situation. Back to pass. It's Moss. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Well, even though that was an incompletion, I wouldn't be surprised if this secondary wants to start playing deeper coverages. Because this offense has shown that they're willing to be aggressive. They've got a lot of speed. This defense cannot allow any big plays here in the second half. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Complete downfield. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And the Trojans are in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Yeah, and you hear it all the time. Coaches talk about it. Don't throw across your body. Don't throw across your body. These guys nowadays, they do it more and more because they're more athletic and they can change their arm angles all the time. But right there, it was an incompletion. It was an interception. So you might get like a little bit of a yell from your coaches, but, but nothing too big. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. Takes a shot as he lets it go. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. And the offense gets pretty lucky there. Third down in your own end. You're throwing to try to get the first. That ball just a little bit late, and as a result, they're lucky that wasn't a pick six. The Trojans will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got it. Behind the line. It's locked. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. He's starting to get in touch with his inner Joe Montana as the Irish are moving the ball up top. And I think that's always the question with the Irish every year is who's going to play quarterback? We know their brand and we know who they are, but are they going to get ballers at that position? Are they going to get... A great Ian Book, a great Brady Quinn. That's the next step. And if they find that guy, Notre Dame can do everything they want to do and be great in college football. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to him. I can try to create some space out wide, dump him the football, let him make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out Looking for room. It's Love. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the change for a first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. They'll ride the hot hand. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before he makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. 
I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. From the gun, the running back has it. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making a good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Now they're going to throw it. Fires to the wide out. He caught it. They will score. Touchdown, Irish. That touchdown gives his team a pretty significant lead at this point. And that's what you want. You want to start fast. You want everything to come out, start clicking, make some plays. It doesn't always work that way, but when you do, man, the energy, the crowd, everybody's into it. Now the other team better respond. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They go 83 yards on the drive, and the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. After giving up that score, now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean... I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stats, so he puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Back to pass, it's Moss. Unloads it left. He's got it. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That type of big play can even make Traveler perk up and take notice. Hey, man, when I think about USC and just their pass, I just think about explosive. Explosive playmakers making explosive plays down the field, finding those big wide receivers, making big plays. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You could tell starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Gets away from one. He's got space. And the explosive play, and they're on the move all the way to the 44. For all of the star quality that USC has been built on, good offensive line, strong running game has always been a hallmark. No doubt about it. I think they're built on, you know, the passing game and explosive playmakers out wide, but they've always had that balance at USC. you got to have a little bit of the boring to go with the glitz and the glam. Caught over the middle. It's Branch. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys, that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. Now the play fake. He's going to let it go. Finds a man in the middle. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you, over the middle of the field. You can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Trying to pound it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Trojans! 
after the score. We'll see if that breathes a little fire into them. And you see it all the time, right? You get that score, you get that energy, the crowd gets involved, and the defense got to get out and get you a stop. But this was step one to getting them back in the ball game. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, but they're still down 24-14. They put together an 81-yard drive and finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. So they've got the lead down to 10 here. A little more interesting as they're set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here come the Irish, back on offense. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create something. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Got it in the middle. It's Evans. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit to the location of the throw because he put it out in front of his big man. He was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. They go to the ground. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. This will make Irish eyes smile because they're shaking down thunder from the sky with this running game. Just pound, pound, pound. What are you going to do? Are you going to meet the physical challenge of the Irish? Because they're ready to rumble. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. He'll get rid of it. And he was firing for the left side, but couldn't make the connection. Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, defense won that rep. Good coverage. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To the air, it's Leonard. Dances away. At the 40, there he goes. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Man, it's so nice to have a weapon like this at quarterback. It dictates coverage. You want to play man-to-man? -man? Everybody turns their back. Watch him pick him up, put him down, shoe up yards, getting a big play down the field. Notre Dame lines up quickly. Using his legs, it's Love. Finds a little bit of room. Give him a couple down to the 23. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. Picked up two yards on that last when they need eight on second down. Back to the ground with the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. 
But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Buys a little time. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. Nice job. Nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. Now they'll run it to the right here. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, running back on the move. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. This defense obviously knows they've got to be able to stop the run if they're going to win this football game. And you wonder if they've been able to make some tweaks and adjustments to try and take this running back away. Third and long, and they'll need to get it close to the goal line to convert. Looking to pass. It's Leonard. They're trying to get... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Now the defense has got it going the other way. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football. And the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. Great job with the pass rush, and a better job forcing a turnover. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on, now I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Got a man. It's Branch. Great move there. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. It's first and ten for this offense from the 42. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man. It's Marks. He works his way inside the 30 down to the 29 and picks up a first down. Well, this offense told us coming in they were going to challenge this secondary early and often. They were going to use their speed to their advantage and take advantage of this quarterback's touch and arm talent. And they're already in the second quarter. They've got over 200 yards thrown. Inside the 30 at the 29, it's a first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Marks. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Back to the air one more time. Makes his connection. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. When you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Looking to pass inside the red zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Southern Cal! 
And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher, an 18-yard touchdown throw. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They've got some time to work with here, Jesse, and if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then it's pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field. But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. Dropping back, it's Leonard. Throws to the wideout. The pass is incomplete, and there are two ticks remaining on the clock. I wonder if the receiver heard footsteps on that play. Defender, very, very close, but you'd like to see your wide receiver haul that in. Just enough time for one final play in this half. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Looking for a big game. He can't haul it in. Incomplete. They took a shot, but that's how we'll wrap up the half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, think of all the legendary players who've been a part of this game. And we have a few more vying for that status so far today in an always emotional fight for the jeweled shillelagh. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower. And these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the battle between USC and Notre Dame plays out. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. They're not only ready to fight on, they're ready to deliver knockout punches with plays like that. Yeah, they, they typically are, and it's typically Hollywood scripts, right? Just beautiful playmakers, big bodies, fast bodies that highlight the famous celebrity quarterbacks. That's just what USC does. Going up top on first down. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Really nice pass there. You know the expectations at USC every year are sky high. Not just to win the conference, but to be in the national championship discussion. But to do that, they need this guy right here to play at a high level week in and week out because this guy has the skills and the tools to take them there. 
They'll throw it on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. I'll tell you, this defensive end, not only can he pass rush, but he can play the run as well. You see him beat the offensive lineman there trying to block him and get in the backfield to make that tackle for loss. That was impressive. A third and long coming up here. Wants to throw. It's Moss. Fires to the wideout. He's got him wide open. Run out of bounds after the long game, but they've got it now first and goal. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his way. Now the chance to pay off that big play from just outside the five. A first down run on the doorstep. He'll be brought down at the five yard line and this defense is on its heels. Second and goal for the offense. The run up the middle trying to power to the goal line. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counterpunch and attack this defense? And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. He got it. And after the three-spot guys were all tied up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Here come the Irish, back on offense. He'll pull it on the read. And he won't quite get there but boy after that pickup just a few inches to go for the first an array of possibilities here and that would be the definition of first down success put yourself in a good position it's second and inches i can do whatever i want next i can take a shot down the field i can run the football and get a new set of downs like nice first down execution give to the back and he gets it out past the sticks and notre dame will have a first down so far, everything's just seemed to work for this offense when they've wanted to run the football. Regardless of what down and distance it is, they're able to get it done. Up front, getting a lot of push, and these backs are finding the holes. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. They'll give it to him again. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football game. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They got him looking wrong, but they're going to throw it. With the catch, it's Mitchell. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. And the slant is really a difficult route to defend against if you're a DB in man coverage, especially when you have no help on the inside. So if you're the offense, 
and you continue seeing that coverage, you might as well keep attacking it just like that. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Got it looking for a first. And after a nice game, the runner just scoots out of bounds. Nice job decision-making by the quarterback there in the RPO, not handing it off, knowing he had to throw it, but then also understanding his open guy was going to be in the right flat. Notre Dame ready to go back to work with another first down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones, D linemen staying in their gaps, linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. Right back to the well. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. When your best is demanded on a big stage like this against a rival, he has delivered, cracking the 150-yard mark. No doubt about it. What do we say? Big-time players make big plays in big games. The games don't get bigger than this for this team right here. And this guy, David, has shown up today. And it's so nice as a coach to have that dude that you know you can count on. He'll put up big numbers, and he's been carrying this offense. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm. And here comes the offense on second down. To throw, it's Leonard. Down to the 26-yard line where the tackle is made. Pick up a five and a first down. Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. He's looking to throw it. Caught near the sticks. It's Harrison. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. They looked finished, but they're all Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So an 82-yard drive there, and they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Getting some heat. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. Looking for a man. It's Moss. Throws to the wideout. Oh, goes right through his hands, and he will think about that one for a while. It'll be third down. And that's one the offense just needs to be able to hit, right? That's a completion they should be able to hit in their sleep. Receiver's got to do a better job. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. And the Trojans will call on their punt team.
slips through the line. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stopped. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of bounce, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. They're going to run it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. Well, they needed two yards to get that first down. That's exactly what they got. Great job of execution. No secret about it. Just got to be physical, get a hat on a hat, low man wins, all the cliches to get that third down and shoot. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. The give on the inside. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Softened him up with a run and now to throw. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle and make a play on the ground. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Let's it fly. And his throw is incomplete. Well, everything on that play started off great. The offensive line gave a great pocket to the QB to survey downfield. He found the open receiver. You just got to finish the play. Receiver, you got to make that catch. This crowd knows they have to bring it in big moments, and one of those has arrived. He wants to throw it again. Unloads to the wideout. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys. But you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David. So this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively i got to put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. 
Looking downfield, it's Moss. He's right on target. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Makes the grab. Can anyone catch him? He's at the 10. Touchdown, Trojans. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing the tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. Well, oh, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap that one off in style, a 74-yarder for the score. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here come the Irish, back on offense. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. They'll line up for a second down play. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Awesome body control and great job, too, knowing where he is on the field to make sure he got his feet down in bounds. At this point, this guy's been open all over the field, and if I'm the QB, man, I keep throwing him the ball. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. It's complete to the right. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the wide out. Complete to the right. And he's brought down after a nice game. Big play for the Irish there, reminiscent of a Tim Brown or Rocket Ismail. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you used a reference in the last 30 years, Reese. Um, you know, just trying to find playmakers at Notre Dame. And Michael Mayer, obviously, in the recent years, was a guy that you could really, really depend on. Trying to find those golden tates, those elite players out wide, is something they've been missing over the last several years. Sometimes you wonder if rivals really don't like each other. This guy sure doesn't like anybody on the other side. He's tackling everybody. And that's the kind of defender I want. The guys who don't like people. They love collisions. They love to throw their body around Jesse. He's been all over the field. And this guy's good week in, week out, right? But in this game, he just seems like he's more dialed in. And he's playing at a different intensity level right now than I think anybody else on the field. But I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. They're going to ride this running back. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw. It's Leonard. A shot toward the end zone. Touchdown, Irish! 
And they take it in for six more points. If he can keep putting together games like this, he might have a shot at Brady Quinn's career touchdown record of 95. All the great quarterbacks the Irish have had, guys like Joe Theismann, John Hewitt, nobody's even close to that. Yeah, and that's that's crazy to think about being in that kind of a company. And, and Notre Dame's always been a good running team. And when they find quarterbacks and have great quarterback play, then I think they start to take off to that next level. And so far, he's showing that here today. On to attempt to try. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. I love the defensive effort there. They didn't get him right away. They stayed after him. He was scrambling, going backwards. They get the sack on the first play of the drive. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. On second down, just keeps firing. He's going to throw deep right side. They make the tackle, but not before he finishes off this third period with a big play. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more quarter to play, and it might be unlikely, but hey, it's college football. Comebacks happen. Off play action on first down. Pulls it in. It's Branch. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. Trying to convert this second and short. They're going back to the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Yeah, and this offense, listen, we're, we're in court speed, right? We got, we got to score a bunch of points here. We're down. We're trailing. We got to go fast, but we also got to get first down. And that's a nice job sneaking in the run, getting the first down, and now we crank the tempo back in. The Trojans are rolling down the field. Back to throw. It's Moss. Finds his tight end. He'll work his way down to the 28. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend him. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. And the Trojans come to the line in the hurry-up. To the air on first down. The short hand is Branch. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. The Trojans looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. The run from the shotgun. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the good news is, is you got the first down running it there on second and short, but the bad news is you're down by quite a bit here in the fourth quarter, and two, three, four-yard gains aren't going to get it done. You've got to start chucking this thing vertically to get back in the game. And the Trojans with the first and ten. From the gun, the ground game. 
They knock him down after a pickup of four. Ball is at the nine-yard line. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the run, it's Marks. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. This feels like their chance to give him a finish. The give. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, USC! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, get you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays. Those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. Notre Dame right back to the line. Back to throw, it's Leonard. Fires to the big fella. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You gotta get running backs involved. You gotta get your big fellas. You gotta get the tight ends going too. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. there. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains and they're set up at the 41. Yeah, and he's done a great job all game long making the right decisions, but knowing when to pull it and continue to keep drives alive. He's continuing to make the right decision time and time again. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. Quickly complete. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. So after the first down run, here's second down. Got it in the middle. It's Collins. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. Just inside the 30 at the 29, it's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. And they're not on the same page there. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. Gives it to the back on the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They try to go draw with just way too much penetration in the middle of the offensive line, and that the offense has a negative point. These 
fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Power football with the run. How about keeping it on the ground on third and long? He gets nine on the play, and that brings up a fourth and three. And they say a quarterback's best friend is a good run game and a good running back. I think he agrees. Over 150 yards on the day. I don't even think I need a quarterback the way he's been running the football all game long. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Back to throw, it's Moss. Fires one high and deep. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. Seizing that open space, an opportunity all the way inside the red zone. They'll mark it at the 19. The Trojans want to crank the tempo. From the red zone, looking for a man. He's got it on the move. Touchdown, Trojans! What a catch and run for six. Old Uncle Mo has changed sidelines. Look out, brother. Here's what happens, right? Something happens. Get you close in the ball game. The defense needs to come out here, get a stop, get that ball back to the offense. All oh, Uncle Mo on your side. PAT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here come the Irish, back on offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Finds his man, it's Collins. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. After that last completion, it's second down. Here's the handoff. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. And this guy really has been a workhorse today. He's made plays when his offense has needed them the most. He's a guy who's reliable. They know they can turn around, give him the football, and he'll go make things work out. And they're going to need him to finish this game. He has to continue playing well after that big run there. Right back to the well. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. To the air, it's Leonard. Gets it out fast. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. 
And after giving up that completion, guys, I wonder if the defense is going to decide to stay in zone or maybe mix things up a little more man coverage, maybe blitz. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. He's going to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Mitchell. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Second and short now after that completion. Running back searching for a hole. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. Looking to move it through the air. Quickly out to the tight end. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. I think most offensives around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. All the way down to the 15-yard line. It's first down. They think they can create space here with the run to the right. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Quarterback on the keeper. Got some room, head to the goal line. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale, you know, you, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes with the return. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Defense were always trying to get some tips, you know, break on the football, get a tip, get it up in the air. Nice job by the player breaking on the football and forcing the incompletion. Clock is under four minutes as they come to the line for second down. Looking downfield, it's Moss. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. Well, that's just a great play by the defender and great timing. It was the hit that forced that incompletion. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Got him downfield. Oh, look out. The 20. Touchdown, Southern Cal! And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? You can just feel that right now. Just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team 
They're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they could not have finished with more style. An 86-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. Coming out with it, it's Price. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense has some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. The crowd elevating its energy, willing this defense to get a stop on this big third down. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. Throws to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? The Irish send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll bring it back. It's Branch. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Looking down the middle. Got his man. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. And it was the defense that got this started, right? They were the ones who got the stop, forced the punt, gave it back to the offense, who now just picked up a nice completion. You win as a team, but give the defense credit for getting this thing going. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. Well, you know the defense felt freaked out on that one. You're in the fourth quarter, and you're lined up against one of the fastest players in all of college football. And they're taking a shot up top. You just hold on tight and hope for the best. And that time, they were able to force an incompletion. He'll try it again on second and ten. That's caught. It's Marks. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. What a great job by the quarterback working through his progressions here. In a two-minute situation, he doesn't force it down the field if it's not open. Check it down to your back. Let him go to work, and he comes up with a huge play. Looking for a man. It's Moss. Completes it along the sidelines, but that'll be for no gain. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. This game will come down to this. A field goal try to save them. And for the second time, they'll go for the field goal. The first one was good, and they'll try from 42. It's good. All tied up now in the final stages of this one. That is a massive kick late here in the game to tie it up. And now, can your defense do their job and at minimum hold them scoreless here to put this thing into OT? Or even better, can they get you the football back and give you an opportunity to win the game? Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here come the Irish, back on offense. A pretty good bit of ground to cover here, Jesse, but they've got some time to work with. They do, so tempo's gonna be important. You gotta go fast. You just gotta make good decisions at the quarterback position. And those good decisions are throwing the ball beyond the sticks, using the sidelines to get out of bounds, try to maximize this time and get it a position to win. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Trying to find his man on first down. That's caught. It's Collins. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. What a play by the defense. I'll tell you, every time that guy gets the ball in space, the entire stadium holds their breath because of his game-changing speed. That is an outstanding job of an open field tackle in a two-minute situation with the lead. To the air, it's Leonard. Oh, and it's picked off. This could be huge in a tie game. He'll try to take it back. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Trojans. And at this juncture of the game, one play is going to make the difference. It's going to be a momentum-changing play. Who's going to come up with it that time, Pollock? It's the pick six to break the top. And the defense, you're thinking, get a stop, get a stop. This is late in the fourth quarter. This is how we're going to get a win. Our offense is going to go down the field. No, they get the turnover, they force it, and they get to the end zone to create the massive game-changing play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. They'll need to be very sound here, limit this return, and put this game in the hands of their defense to salt it away. From inside the 10, here he comes. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Shoots it to the left. Makes a connection. The offense gets the timeout. 12 ticks left on the clock. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Here's a throw downfield late. To the end zone, and it's picked off. 